Welcome to Spanish Forks 17's coverage of the last uh, Region 8 game of the season for Maple Mountain. And it's soccer, high school soccer, girls high school soccer in fact. And uh, we're here at Maple Mountain High School in Spanish Fork for the coverage of the game. And the game will be against Payson. So Region 8, uh, two teams pretty close together. Not a lot of rivalry I suspect, but uh, the teams uh, based pretty close to each other. And uh, we should have uh, quite an entertaining game because uh, if we look at the Region 8 table as it's uh, gone this year, Maple Mountain have had a great season. And uh, even though they've had a great season, they're in third place in the Region 8 table. And Payson are second bottom. Now, that puts them only the, uh, four four places apart. And uh, as a result, um, it, it looks like they're much closer than they are if you look at the table, but uh, we would expect, given on the scores so far for Maple Mountain, to do very well and uh, run away with this game. We'll see. We'll see. Every game's a new game, and you've got to be careful with the assumptions you make in this game. The um, At the... Uh, stadium here at uh, Maple Mountain High School we have an announcer covering for Maple Mountain for the high school and that's covering for those people who are visiting to watch the game you may hear him a little bit in the background but he's the one yelling I'm the one just talking about what's going on he's introducing uh, players at this point now with uh, 11 players per team on the field at the start of the game plus substitutes available to both teams it may take a little bit of time although I do note that he's already finished going through the pacing team they're playing in black and uh, Maple Mountain are playing in white that's my understanding as it looks right now at this time so uh, we also have uh, the team officials uh, the game officials I beg your pardon um, spoke to those uh, gentlemen a little bit earlier, earlier, um, and uh, it looks like its uh, centre referee is Bruce Lahoon, and side referees uh, Aaron Wheatley and Scott Brown. So those gentlemen covering your game tonight, keeping it uh, honest, keeping it fair, me just keeping it going, and uh, a little bit of weather information that we can give you as well is that um, it's uh, one of those little cold spells that are even talking about the higher peaks down in the south of the state getting some snow today so that's the kind of day we're talking about in the fall it's about 66 degrees at this time and the high is likely to be 71 which might occur during the game there's a little bit of wind variable six miles per hour so not likely to have a great deal of influence although when i do look at the flags around the field I don't see any evidence at this time that uh, there's any wind variable or, other, or otherwise at the uh, school here. However, we'll see if uh, that uh, influences things as we go on. Two 40-minute halves between these teams to see uh, who gets the three points for the table. And that's if there's a winner. And if it's a tie, both teams get one point each. Uh, I walked across the field a couple of times when I went over to see the, uh, the, the team and the uh, game officials and the, team is, uh, the, the field is starting to wear down just a little bit at this time I would say. It's still in good condition for playing soccer but it does have some worn out patches that may, make, uh, some, may have some impact here and there but I don't think we're going to see people trip on, uh, on the studs on their uh, soccer cleats and uh, go over and break an ankle it's not and there's no damage like that what you might find is that uh, the best ball skills uh, may not uh, work so well in certain par patches of the field so referee ready to get the game underway as it appears looks like the kickoff will be by maple mountain and as i say they're playing in the white in the first half they'll be playing from left to right against payson here at Maple Mountain High School in the last Region 8 4A game of the season. It's not the last soccer game of the season uh, for high schools, uh, it should be said. The, uh, the Region 8 uh, or the Region contests uh, will lead to a, uh, a final uh, contest that ends the season, leading all the way perhaps to uh, um, a team 
playing up in Salt Lake somewhere at, uh, well, here's hoping it would be at uh, Rio Tinto Stadium. I don't know if that's what's been organized for this year. We will see. So, game underway. And it looks like we're already out for a... Uh, ah, you know what? With the substitution there, let's give due credit to the lady, Kina Bryan, uh, who was allowed to start the game and is being given a round of applause. And uh, Maple Mountain put the ball out at the start so that uh, Kina could start the game uh, with that injury that she's got, but she will not be playing, I suspect, for the remainder of the game. That was what all, all that was about just there. So Maple Mountain tried to get it down the left. There was no way forward at this point. And a little bit of a struggle for possession. They do keep it, drop it back. They could try switching to the far side. That's what they go for. It's not long enough. And Payson not doing the best job of clearing it and Maple Mountain taking over once again. And they try again to go down the left side. There's no way further down that left wing. Well, just as I say it, it opens up. It was good work in the midfield there. Shot a goal. Ooh, just passed. Yeah, so where there was that blocked uh, path down the, the left, uh, Ma uh, Maple Mountain took the ball to the left wing and then dropped back in towards the centre, taking the defender uh, with them, and the outcome being that the space opened up on the wing. So they try again down the right side this time. It's going to go a little long chance at the cross. Comes into the centre. The goalkeeper's there for it. Not much chance that there'll be much uh, wind assistance on these uh, punts from the goalkeepers. It's a very still day from my point of view. It's uh, just being outside, it just seems like it's dead still. Yeah, a little bit of struggling back and forth for possession, it's not really going anywhere for a while. Maple Mountain. Too strong uh, through the centre. They needed to get out to this right side. I think that's what the kick had the strength for. And there it goes this time. It's about the run there. The defender's there for it. Switches to the centre. Giving it away. Maple Mountain try to put it through the middle. They don't get that. And Maple Mountain defending about... Uh, two-thirds of the way uh, away from their goal towards the centre. Uh, so it looks like uh, they're not expecting a lot to, to come from Payson. And that might give you a reason why. Uh, the, the attempt there to go past uh, Maple Mountain, but uh, not really strong enough. They got to run. Uh, it was strong enough for the keeper to reach it, but uh, there was a bit of a risk there. I don't think everyone was paying attention on the Payson uh, team. So a long one forward from Payson, straight at the Maple Mountain defence, and they start trying to run it down the left side, and it's blocked again. And they go back no further than the Payson defence, and they switch it across the field. Making Payson do the running. And that's going to be good in the long term if uh, Maple Mountain can do that kind of thing uh, in large parts of the game and have uh, Payson chasing the ball, but uh, Maple Mountain not doing any running to get the ball moving. You know, with, uh, just pass it from one player to another. That one's going to go out. So if, Pace, Pace, uh, if Maple Mountain can uh, put together the passes and see that uh, Pace and do the running to try and keep up, then uh, the ones that will tire, tire out earliest will be the Pace team. Goes into the centre, needs a clearance. It's not very strong, but Pace 
maintaining possession, drop it back, dangerous one. Payson still have it, they put it out for the throw. Looks like that one will be taken by Bailey Lund. And she's going for the long throw into the box. Somersault. And uh, Watt couldn't get the, the turn and kick on it. Goes instead to Allred out on the right side. Maple Mountain then. They get it forward, still have possession, into the centre, chance at the turn, and the shot. Ooh, comes off the post, ball still in play. Payson struggling there to gain possession, and looks like they got it out. So, six minutes into the game. Still nil-nil. Maple Mountain with a... Uh, the better of the possession I think it would be fair to say but I don't think it's been largely one team or the other yet the better control oh, that's got to be careful with the keeper yep I think the uh, better controlled play has been from Maple Mountain but I don't think either team has had the majority of it so for possession goes down the uh, right side Lund the somersaulting throw-in player didn't gain possession, didn't keep possession. So Payson tried to bring it down the left. Doesn't work for them, but he still keep possession. Not doing enough to, to protect that one. And referee calls a corner on that one. Goalkeeper not quite believing it. So, Maple Mountain with the corner from Emma Card. Swing away from the uh, swing away from the goal. So if you can get a straight on header on it. Nope, we're not going to do that. And the final kick puts it out for the goal kick this time. I think Payson have got to be careful with defending as they did there, just trying to put it back up in the air and uh, um, get control as it drops. It really needs to be just blasted as far away from your goal as you can make it. And that one goes straight out. Card with the throw in. Down the line. And I see can't get it round the defence. But she does win the throw in, which will be taken by Card. Long one to Vaught. Card again, but it's going behind. Wasn't enough room to get that round, really, I don't think. Goal kick it is then. Doesn't make the centre. Payson can't clear it, they just got to get it forward. They're not linking passes. Anderson out to the right to Lund. Lund can't turn it enough and he goes out for the goal kick. I think, in fairness to Payson, it might be worth pointing out that uh, although they're shirts look black from where I'm sitting. I think it may be a very dark brown or um, burgundy type colour. Just noticed with a bit of sunshine on some of them that uh, perhaps it wasn't quite jet black. Okay, Maple Mountain in the box. Goalkeeper's there. Blocks it. They have a another chance. And the goalkeeper's where it goes. Got to beat the keeper. Controlled clearance then. Payson trying to link passes, failing to do so. 
and pacing too far forward for any player in their team. And you can see the linking passes when they do occur. And look at that good coverage, good overlap. Play on says the ref. And way out to the far side. As he puts it through into the box. Into the centre, there's a almost a clearance. Goalkeeper gets it. Good work from Maple Mountain. So another past clearance. And again, out to the right side. And all Maple Mountain can do is clear it off the field. <laughs> Referee says that the throw went the other way. Pace and turn into the center. Give it away. But nobody on Maple Mountain was looking to take that at the first sight. Wait, puts it forward to the right side. And goes out again for the Maple Mountain throw on the near side. Down the line. No touch from London, it uh, goes out for the Maple Mountain throw. Takes a little bit of time to get going, but drops it back. Anderson. To the front of the box, chance for the shot. There it is. <laughs> Heather Assey, the scorer, in the th 13th minute. So, great start from Maple Mountain. They've had the better controlled play, as I said. And there they put it all together, all the way up to the box. From a throw-in to the box to a shot at goal. One on one, nicely done. So Maple Mountain, they love the spring in the step, going down the left side. Vought on the side, comes into the box, puts it towards the keeper, keeper loses it. Maple Mountain, uh, pa pace now, I beg your pardon, doing a bad job of clearing that. And in the end, it goes for the goal kick. Just cleared on behalf of Payson by Maple Mountain there. Interesting note that uh, the scorer in 13 minutes is the player playing in the number 13 shirt for Maple Mountain. pace and trying to clearance moving it forward and that's not going to work just clearing it into nobody's space if you're the one trying to to score they got they got to link passes together goes out and the call is for the pace and throw pace and substitution taking place while that happens Down the line. No. no control there. Don't really know what to say. I mean, the pacing player put her head back too f too far, and there was somebody right behind her, so her head didn't go back as far as she planned, and the ball hit her in the face. Bad luck. Maple Mountain can't get it into the box this time. Got to watch those heels. to the left side, they drop it back, comes to the near side, Lund struggling to get it forward, gets into the box, here it is again, so all the way back. 
We'll try again from the defensive point. Defending now about the center line of Maple Mountain. Still have possession. Barely though. It's not working for Maple uh, for Payson. Into the box it is. Chance for the shot. Into the center. But can't get the power on the shot. Maple Mountain, right to the right. Really land. Takes a space for the cross, puts it into the center. Payson can't clear it, but trying to turn and get a crack on the ball, but it doesn't work. Payson then, try to bring it out to the left side. Goes down the line for Maple Mountain. And straight out the defense. So, Maple Mountain had one defender plus their goalkeeper in the field as the ball crossed the line. And by the same token, Payson had their entire team in their own half. That's going to give you a sign of uh, which way this game is likely to go. So, game pauses for substitutions and then we have a Maple Mountain throw. Substitutions almost complete. Down the line it is. Dumbledore doesn't work for Maple Mountain and neither does the attempt to run in on the ball. Heavy weight, putting a little too much weight on it when she reached it. But the near side linesman says that it uh, came off pacing as it went on, uh, went out of play. Maple Mountain then can't put together the shot. Another case of all the players bar two being in the pacing half. So working it forward, Maple Mountain. Anderson can't make the pass. Payson, drop it back. Long one forward. There's no one there. And out to the far side line. Call for it to go down long. That's what it does. There's our goal scorer. to the center, another shot, oh, not linking up. Thinking a little too far ahead of the time there, uh, Julia Dean. And Maple Mountain throw. Can't make the, can't make the pass. Comes through the center, Dean. Out to the near side, nice turn there from Billy Lund. Makes a little bit of space, but she can't get clear of the defender. She needs to make that clear space to get the cross in, so she should drop it back. And it doesn't quite work, but fortunately the clearance is from Maple Mountain. Yeah, uh, pacing, I get the Anderson then. Trying triangles. Not linking up though, too strong in some of the contacts. Long one forward into the box, one on one against the keeper. Keeper has it clearly. Maple Mountain taking over. Leon says the ref. That wide, too strong. Down the line, give it away to Ashley Anderson. She has to go fight for it again. Payson with uh, the, all the possession during a lot of that play, but uh, Maple Mountain getting in there, pushing the ball one way or another, but it actually ending up going to back to Payson. So. 
I see, in the box. Can't stay with it. Long clearance. Payson, keeping possession this time. Letting it go, and letting it go. Down the line then. Taylor Wade turns it back towards the center. And Dean can't get it past. Payson then, chance on the right. They make the link that time. A big part of the difference there was that uh, the pass was into a place a player was going to be at in the near future. A lot of the passes that Payson have played forward into the Maple Mountain half have been just into nowhere. Uh, no man's land, let's call it. Um, good passes if someone had been approaching that area of the field, but literally passes assuming someone would be there without checking if there was. Good one from Maple Mountain. Taylor Wade in the box. Tries to put it past and she bends it a little too much and it goes into the, the side netting. Should be the goal kick to, to Payson. Bit of substitutions taking place first. That's three players changed in uh, that one that one exchange. So game on and in play. Payson then. Can't keep it together. Maple Mountain keep possession. It's in the box, chance for the cross. Offside. Yep, free kick for offside. Payson then. Long one forward on the left side. Pulled in towards us, tried to pull in towards the center, but it wasn't a pass, it was just to see if we can move it forward again. Anderson tries to get it over to the far side. Maple Mountain content to let it just go out for the throw in. Emma Card. Come at it again, Anderson tries to get it into the box. Payson working hard to put together a set of something that would be a clearance, and two or three times it kept coming back. That's why they got to link up uh, passes, uh, Payson. You can't just booted well there are times when you have to boot it into the stratosphere let's be honest but you're going to keep losing possession if you do that good one maple mountain play on says a ref and oh there it is so another one from maple mountain it was just uh, came off the uh it was uh, Chloe Martin, came off the uh, crossbar and dropped on the other side of the line. So, Maple Mountain 2, Payson 0. And the score going by and large with the uh, nature of play so far. Goes out to the pace and throw. But they can't they can't make the pass. Maple Mountain do instead. Bringing it forward. Linking it up. Only once. With the clearance from Payson. There's a giveaway. Switch to the near side. Allred. Martin. Got. Into the box. No space. Nelson was losing the space all the way. She tried to make it to the touch line. Um, the 
pace and defender was getting between the pillar and the goal more and more and more the whole time. Hendren gets it into the box and there's a shot. Easy one for the keeper. So temperature will be starting to rise now that we have the sun out of the clouds. Maybe hitting that 71 high but I don't think it will make a big difference to anybody's uh, play. Into the centre. Nelson letting everyone get forward. Pickering onto the left line. Hendren looking for a way through. Gets across into the centre. Vought. Martin. Martin needs to get the turn. Vought drops it back. Hand the shot. It's too high and too wide. Goal kick it is then for Payson. Score standing at Maple Mountain 2. Payson nil in the first half with about uh, 13 and a half minutes plus any uh, overtime extensions. So, stoppage time if you like that one. Across to the far side, goes all the way through the box, there's nobody there. Hendren drops it back, Vought tries to find a way through the box, does it? but too close to the line she needed to drop that back. Don't know if uh, you've noticed, but uh, Ali Vought, uh, the number three player there, she plays on both sides of the field. Does a good job in both cases. She looks like she's uh, quite a skilled player with uh, the ball at her feet, so I think that's probably a big part of that. In swinger to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper can't get it. Uh, would have been easier to score, I suspect. But Maple Mountain still have it. They drop it back. All right. And Sienna Woods can't put it out. Uh, can't put it into the box. Goes out. Came off pace, unfortunately. So it's a Maple Mountain throw-in on the near side. Strange, odd-shaped soccer ball just uh, entered the field, or is that a football? Ah. Into the center it goes, and it's looking just for a deflection, nobody adding any power to it. Payson, go down the line. Woods, into the center. Martin can't reach it. Another chance, Pickering this time. Looking for the space, into the center. Oh, a little bit of curl on that, and it would have beat the keeper. So substitution taking place for Payson and then we have the goal kick. And in addition a substitution for Maple Mountain. Still waiting for that goal kick as a consequence. And game underway again. That'll add a little bit to the stoppage time. Gets into the centre. Too much uh, congestion there. Hendren out to the wide side. On the left. Comes back through the middle. Pass doesn't hook up. Drops all the way back. Chance for Payson. They just have to win possession and run with it, which they don't do. And on the near side, Wiscom tries to put it through the center. It's not the best linking. Gets another chance at it. Switches to the far side instead. And that's not the best pass, but it does stay with Pickering. Puts it back through the centre and Wiscombe again. Chance down the line. That's what she goes for. 
Martin has it there, drops it back to Wiscombe again. And Wiscombe goes through the centre instead. Dean tries to put it into the box, pace and get it there. Don't do much of a clearance, drops all the way back to Wiscombe again. Woods, Vought, and Martin again. Chance for the clearance, pace and got to do it. It's got to be first touch clearances. When there's that much challenge uh, and congestion going on. And out that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Just boot it clear. Yes, you give away the throw in, but at the end of the day, it's almost a necessity when you're talking about uh, struggling in defence against a team like Maple Mountain. So, substitutions take place and then we'll have a moment before throw in. Looks like they're going to try and get it into the box, which they do. They get another, tra another chance at that. Cross. Pacing them, they gotta run, they gotta run, it's one it's one on none. Nice dummy there from Wiscombe. End result is uh, they get a little bit more time, Maple Mountain. And the whole game slows down a bit. So they come forward again. Into the box, Martin's there. Last uh, nope, no call. Offside it is. Good work though by Maple Mountain. There's good vision and uh, good positioning. The end result, well not perfect positioning let's say, but good, uh, good work nonetheless. So free kick it is, Payson. Don't quite keep possession. With the cross. Martin has it now. Chance to cross of her own. Drops it back. Nobody there for the shot. Martin, another chance. Tries to put it through the centre and there's a deflection. And that'll go out for the corner. the uh, goalkeeper didn't believe that but it was a fairly obvious deflection from where I'm from where I am Maple Mountain corner then beyond the goal and uh, not enough power on the turn that really needed uh, to have some added by the player way back. Maple Mountain doing what I've been saying that uh, we haven't seen enough of Payson doing and that is just clearing the ball, getting it out and buying themselves some time to drop back. Payson throw in then on the near side after the substitution. And that's still taking its time completing. Underway now. Long one into the box. Nobody there. So, Maple Mountain, working down the right, long one, it's about to run now, Vought's there for the run, Martin in the centre, gets to Martin, takes possession, tries the shot, goalkeeper just had to keep the goal, keep the goal covered, and Martin was struggling then to, to find an angle that would uh, result in the ball going into the net. So, goal kick then, Payson, they keep possession, they need the pass, and they give it away, Martin into the centre, Vought's not there for it though, Vought again, shot, and it's way over, way, ba way by on the left side, it's never going to turn enough. On the other hand, when you're 2-0 up and it's not even half time, 
it's easy to get uh, to where uh, you're not too concerned about the detail. Martin doesn't take possession, gets another chance at it. There it is. Martin with number two on, uh, let's see, the 35th minute, 36th minute. So, Maple Mountain 3, Payson 0 here in this uh, last game of the Region 8 4A contest at uh, Maple Mountain High School. The coverage here from Spanish Fork 17. And the kickoff from Payson, third time they've done it today. And one of the big reasons is that uh, they're having a lot of trouble pacing in uh, keeping control of the ball, keeping possession, such as that. Mm. That clearance is lucky that it reaches one of their players. And even then, when it does, that player gives it away. So Maple Mountain coming into the box, tried to drop it back. Needed to come back away from the goalkeeper because the goalkeeper was beat. Just needed to come over the keeper out towards the centre of the box about the penalty spot and then all it needs is tap in f with an open goal. And there you see the Maple Mountain with their play forward, it's linking passes. Two in a row there. And defender is beat, move forward. Uh, Anderson didn't continue with it. So, Payson, not far enough. Maple Mountain drop it back on the left side. Bring it back through the center, Anderson, out to the right. Chance to run for uh, Allred. She make the space, she does. Brings it into the box. Nobody makes contact. Anderson again. This time it's Rod. She can't get past. Pacing in with the clearance. Make the first pass. Make the second and then the third one is a giveaway. Anderson. Players in space on the left, or on the right here. So they go forward, what? Chance on the left. Go through the center, it's about the run, but it's too strong, keeper gets it easily. We won't have a large amount of stoppage time during uh, for the first half, but it'll be a little bit. So still a little bit of time for either of these teams to put one more on the uh, ticket. Pacing them, they have one player forward to that position. They need to pass on the right to be one that is run into. And that's almost what they tried, but it was a little too long. And that'll go out for the Maple Mountain throw. Plus a substitution taking place. Well, did not. Pacing them. So one of the biggest uh, problems uh, covering the game at this point is that there is uh, someone else with a whistle <laughs> somewhere around the field. Probably one of these uh, pretend football players um, because, uh, well, probably one of the pretend football coaches um, because a real football is the whistle I'm trying to follow and uh, Every so often I get beat by something that I think is a referee, but he uh, doesn't quite go right. Game doesn't stop, for example, when I hear a whistle. Pacing them. They were in the box. And that's going to go out for the corner. Pacing them with the corner. I think this is uh, one of only a couple of times they've been this far forward. So they've got to make the most of that.
and they're almost ready. Should be the should be the outswinger away from goal. The wind's picked up a little bit towards the uh, Maple Mountain goal, so might be an extra little bit of energy. Dropped low and back towards the goal, curling. Oh, came off the bar. That was a good chance. Maple Mountain and they just put it out so Payson then with the throw in on the near side referee's been checking his watch a little bit Maple Mountain taking possession through the centre what makes her own space and passes it to the centre and it was uh, too long by Nelson. And there is the halftime whistle from our game referee, Bruce uh, Lohan. And the score standing at Maple Mountain 3, pace and nil, with the goals coming in the uh, 13th minute from Heather Assey. And then in the 23rd and 36th minute, uh, each one from uh, Chloe Martin both times so that's how it went in the uh, first half this is David Mayer for Spanish Fork 17 we'll be back with coverage of the second half here at Maple Mountain High School Welcome back to second half coverage here at uh, this last game of the Region 8 4A team contest uh, between high school girls soccer teams, uh, Maple Mountain versus Payson, taking place here at Maple Mountain High School. Currently in Spanish Fork, but I think as I look at the uh, construction going on around, there might be a new town in town before long. So a game just about to get underway with the score standing at uh, Maple Mountain 3, Payson nil, and uh, I was talking with the production team at uh, halftime, and they were thinking that uh, is there really much sign that this game is going to go any other way? And it's it's fair to say that there's not a lot of evidence that uh, Payson are going to put together enough of a string of uh, uh, possession that uh, they will get the ball in front of goal. Maple Mountain, you see, doing that much in the way of possession. Payson doing that. So, about four passes down the, the left side for Maple Mountain, keeping possession until the last player before the goal. And then Payson just uh, kicking it forward in a sort of hopeful sense. <laughs> kicking the referee with, kicking the ball against the referee, that's a little bit beyond hopeful. So, still in free kick it is, in fact. Um, foul then. Pacing on Maple Mountain. And uh, that'll take a little bit of time to get underway, I think. Yep. Referee says thumbs up to that. And game on. Headed forward. Maple Mountain keeping possession, working for it, owning it. But, well, credit to Payson there, at least. They, uh, they did work to try and keep possession of the ball. And they have it from the throw-in. Space in the centre. And that's a difficult pass to... Both of those would be difficult passes to make. Goes out for the Maple Mountain throw. And... Waiting for the ball to come back. There it is. Drop back. Nice and controlled. Nice and organized. Maple Mountain don't have to try hard. With three goals ahead, they can take their time to think about getting another one. Pacing them. And give it away. Space on the right. And, well wasn't intentional that it worked out the way it did but it worked out well long one forward is it going to stay in nope out it goes for the pace and throw that would have been good if it uh, been uh, short enough that it stayed in field
pacing then with the throw on the far side. Pacing. Drop it back. Out it goes for the Maple Mountain throw. Looks like it will be Lund with the throw. Going for the long one. Somersaulting long one into the box. Nobody there with the head. Gets into the center. Straight at the goalkeeper though. And uh, Heather Assey couldn't reach it. So goal kick. Long clearance. Taken away by Maple Mountain. Assey into the center. It's about to run now. Beats the keeper. And puts it away. That was Nelson there. Well, it was a little bit uh, trying to find out what is what's going on. I mean, if it was a goal, we'd be just straight back to the centre. What's the referee calling there? Ah, looking at the linesman's position on the far side, it looks like we have a call of offside. So be it. I thought it was offside with the first player, perhaps, who went to the ball, but since the first player, uh, that was Assi, I think, uh, she never got any possession. And uh, the way the ball continued, the player that came to it was not offside. Well, such is life. And out it goes for the pace and throw. Pace and then into the towards centre, given away, down the line, and out for the pace and throw. No one gets to it until Maple Mountain do. And they're just keeping possession. Still working on that, but can't keep it. Pacing them. Their chances on the left side, but they go forward to the defence. The one they're attacking, that is. Long one. Down the right. Taken away by the by Payson. Then taken away by Maple Mountain. Into the box it is. It's about to run. Goalkeeper be there. Nice, nicely done by the goalkeeper. That was a risky one. I'm pretty sure she was worried that there might be a collision there. She did a good job of uh, moving the ball out the way of the player who was coming forward. Maple Mountain then. Card crosses through the center, puts it to the far side. Lund with it. Can she keep it in? And she puts it out for a throw in for Maple Mountain. Well, she puts it out by a deflection so that she gets a throw in, if you follow me. Bailey Lund then, one of those somersaults. Into the box. Fort can't reach it. Anderson. Puts it out onto the right side, but it's too strong. Pacing with the throw. Into the box it comes. There was nothing there from Pacing. It was just the throw just wasn't organized so that they would achieve anything from it. I mean, it wasn't a terrible throw. It was just that it wasn't, uh, the rest of the team weren't in support. Goal kick then, Payson. Lund tries to get it in. That was almost uh, the shot itself. Goal kick it is for Payson. So goalkeeper substitution for Maple Mountain and game on pushing the back there so foul against Payson free kick to Payson Payson then they need to turn it go towards goal but they give it away Anderson gets a pass on the near side Massey 
forward, but it's too long for Vault. Payson need to get the clearance. They're going to give it away for a corner if they're not careful. And that's what it is. They gave it away for the corner. Well, almost 10 minutes finished of the second half. Score standing at Maple Mountain 3, Payson nil, and it doesn't look like it's going any other way. For now, this game isn't over till it's over. I've s I have seen games come back to from 3-0 down to 5-3 win. And yeah, I meant that the way it sounds. 3 nil down to 3-5 win. That's the proper way of describing it. The team that had nil ends up being the team that had five. Okay, so Maple Mountain. There's space on the right. Lots and lots of it. So they take advantage of that. All red. Tries to get it into the box. Gets another chance. No one there. Another chance. And... Dean just puts it too high and over. Goal kick then for Maple uh, for Payson. And doesn't look like there's any substitutions taking place, so game underway. Long one forward. No one there for it. Schellenberg, and we had a free kick that I missed. So Payson with a free kick, a little bit further back. Chance for Payson to get a long one forward if they can. Their best chance of getting in front of goal. The back header isn't going to work. Good, good job for Maple Mountain keeping possession for a bit. Schellenberg. Goes out wide. Good work from Maple Mountain. Tried to get a long one forward, it didn't work. And Payson give it away. Another chance then. Card. Has Anderson there. Anderson puts it forward down the line. I see. Down the line further. And there we have uh, Vought. Takes it into the box. Drops it back for the chance at the shot. Easily taken by the keeper, but weight was there without the weight on the shot. So, clearance then. Straight up in the air. It's going out in the ni near side, pace and throw. These are the kind of things, these set pieces are the best chance pace and have of getting anything out of the game. And it's going to come from them taking advantage of uh, being somewhere with everything static, such as this. Um, they need to find someone w in space in their team that they can get a, uh, a connection with a, a passed ball one way or another. And that's their best chance of doing that well they're certainly aggressive they have all of their players except their goalkeeper in the Maple Mountain half that's going to be risky if Maple Mountain get a run on it well I'll have to do better than that for it out it goes Payson another dead ball into the box and there's a good chance. Needed to be better aligned, but uh, the height might have been a good one. So, goal kick it is. A little bit of substitution takes place. Anderson. Long one forward. Wait. Down the right. It's going to go off, I suspect, before Lund gets to it. Yes, indeed. Throw in then for Payson.
They get a long one forward, straight at the Maple Mountain defense. Pacing them, linking a few passes. Maple Mountain put it out. Pacing with the chance. One of their best chances so far, but they gotta get a turn and face goal. Anderson. Long one forward. Massey. She's in the box. It's her the keeper. Gets a shot straight at the keeper's feet. Easily cleared. That had to go round the keeper or over her head. So, another chance. Dean tries to find the space herself. Straight in front of the keeper. Taking too long with this, or pacing, they, they've got a lot to, they need to make as much of the time as they can. Into the box, it's about to run here. Goalkeeper comes out for it, gets a clearance. Pacing, coming forward. Making some linking passes that time. Until the very last one, of course. It's always the last one that's the one that doesn't work. So, and Anderson. Should just say there are two Andersons on the field for Maple Mountain. There's Ashley Anderson and uh, Holly Anderson. Goes through the center, Anderson. Long one forward. Makes the link. Wade turns it round for Dean. Dean can't make the pass. Anderson gets another chance at it. Doesn't do too good, but it drops back only to the defense. Assi. Looking for the space in the box. She still has it. Shot. Nope. Turns it round. Dean gets the shot. Dean's there with the goal in the uh, 56th minute of the game. Good work there from Maple Mountain, making the space out on the left side, using it to get into the box, dropping it back, and then the shot uh, with uh, not much to do, but put it in the net. Nicely done. So, looks as though some substitutions will take place. No, oh, pardon me, yes. And uh, throw in on the far side. And we have to wait for all the players, all the substitutions to complete. Pacing them. Big chance for them. Doesn't have enough power to beat the keeper. Linking work there from Maple Mountain coming forward in space, using the space, using the space. Uh, got away. So it'll be Maple Mountain with the throw. Schellenberg. Anderson. Space on the right. We switch it over. Lund has a bit of space to work with, gets, uh, takes too long over it, but does get the deflection and uh, it goes off for the corner. So, looks like it will be Emma Card taking the corner on the far side for Maple Mountain. And right here in the Maple Mountain uh, High School Greenhouse, it is probably in the 80s, but I think maybe even the 90s, but it's probably the very low 70s out there. 
A little bit of wind that I do see might be a little bit chilly, but I still don't think it's going to be stopping anybody from having a comfortable game. Much better than you would get with uh, the games from uh, the month before last. Uh, that's not good enough passing. It's got to be stronger than that. It's got to be def definitive. It's got to be definite. It's got to be absolute. It's got to be direct. It's got to reach the person it's headed for. That's more like it. Another one into the space. That's good. Pace and then. They take it too wide. Drop it back. Take a moment. Get it into the center. It's too strong, but they do keep possession. And that's just kicking up into the sky for no reason. There was a player there, but that wasn't the way to reach the player. Out it goes for the pace and throw. One of these best chances for pace in situations. They needed that to be turned and got into the box. And they'll take it out, give it away. No, it's Maple Mountain that had the contact to put it out. So that's more like it. Not strong enough, but at least it was a good try. So, all right. Winning possession, giving it away. Pacing then goes the shot. Straight at the keeper, center of the goal. And the clearance. No head contact there. I think that was somebody closing their eyes as they jumped. Some substitutions will take place before the throw in. be three I think for Maple Mountain so it'll take a little bit of time to complete referee sees that complete and we're ready for the throw wait drops it back Dean puts it into the box there's no one there long one forward wait tries to reach it before the keeper but it was Easy one for the keeper. Pacing then. Try to bring it forward, but they've they've always got their back to the almost always got their back to the attacking goal when they're receiving the ball. It's another thing that's not gonna work for them. They have to have the pass like that, but longer so that they have possession going towards the goal they're attacking. That's an attempt into space there, but they needed a longer one. Pacing then. No control. Schellenberg. I see. She loses it. Dean. Nobuhara can't make the, the pass wide enough. Dean then. Almost bundled off the ball, but she keeps possession. Nelson. Out wide to Allred. Chance for the cross. Ooh, through the legs. What they call a dummy. <laughs> Chance for the cross again. And the contact from Payson. And it goes out for the corner. Three more substitutions from Maple Mountain. I think they're probably doing what they can just to um, get everyone on the field. So, the corner to be taken on the far side, Julia Dean, out swinger, away from goal, and didn't swing it enough. So, 
that substitution of three taking place and like I said it looks like uh, Maple Mountain are cycling through a lot of players probably wise to do that with them being so far ahead goal kick then for Maple Mountain P Payson I beg your pardon goal kick for Payson one puts one's left leg in one puts one's left leg out well, in my case foot and mouth so far side there all right down the line Martin longer down the line Martin gets it back but can't control it Payson need to make something up quick speed here would matter and all the advantage taken by Maple Mountain using the ball to do the work goes out for the mm, pace and throw in the near side long one forward doesn't work Dean goes to the far side to Martin who dummies it keeps possession taking it into the box needs to get the, the turn there's a shot by Vaught Goalkeeper puts it over, that'll go out for the corner to Maple Mountain. Good work from Maple Mountain, they're making the space on the far side first. Dropping it back from the touch line and uh, took a little bit of work, a uh, little bit of confusion in the centre, but they did get it back and an excellent shot. Cleared by the goalkeeper in the end though. So Maple Mountain with the corner on the near side. Goalkeeper can't reach it. And in it goes. Don't know who we'd quite call the scorer there. Probably Martin. And that's uh, 65th minute. Martin's third goal of this game. So, probably quite a depressing experience for Payson. They've got to keep their head on the game, though. 15 minutes still to play. It would be hard to turn this round to a victory for Payson, but they could at least get some consolation and uh, also uh, humble Maple Mountain if they do a good job of it. So game not over, not for Payson. Ooh. Contact there, not a foul. Maple Mountain dropping it back. It's going to go out. Nope. Nice work. Pickering does a good job. Working towards the centre. It's going to be her against the keeper. She's got Martin on the far side. Let's it get away from her. Anderson. Into the box, but it's straight at the keeper, and there's nobody else there. Needed to be a little further back from maybe at about the uh, just outside of the box in the center. Payson not making the passes. And then again, <laughs> same goes for Maple Mountain. Pickering can't make it past. Webster, she's got space out on the right, goes too long, works its way back anyway to Allred, puts it down the line, nice turn there from Maple Mountain, excellent work, they're in the centre now, chance for the shot, they don't make that, and that's just going to roll out, for the goal kick. So score standing with uh, 12 and a half minutes remaining plus stoppage time. Maple Mountain 5, Payson 0. And 
whether or not that makes any change to makes any difference to the uh, the league table, I doubt, because there will be other games played today, I suspect, and those top teams for the division. As Vought works with it in front of goal and puts it in. She's been looking for a goal the whole game and gets one uh, with uh, 12 minutes remaining. So, yet another kickoff for Payson. Score standing at Maple Mountain 6, Payson 0. Dean, out to the far side, Martin's there. Anderson, long one, down the line. It's about the run now, whether or not he goes out. Yep, goes out for throw to Payson. Down the line. Just cleared. Linking pass is coming from Maple Mountain again. And not that one. But they win it back. Pickering. Obstruction. Uh, fouled and uh, that means free kick to Maple Mountain. Front of goal here. So dangerous one. Anderson will be taking that. Dangerous one for Payson that is. Although danger perhaps no longer the issue for Payson. Long one at the keeper. Comes off the keeper's hands to the bar. Maple Mountain still have it working in the box. Get it into the center, but they can't get it to Vaught. Drops back, Anderson with it. Puts it on her right foot. Works the passes. Comes out wide. Vought fighting for it more than struggling for it, but it gets too far back. Another chance then. Anderson with it. The option wide for the runner. And that's going to be Allred. She takes possession. Chance at the cross, drops it back. It's in the box. Chance for Vought. And it's too wide on the uh, left side. And Maple Mountain make a substitution as Payson prepare for another goal kick. So, goal kick. Underway, game underway. Anderson, long one. Martin there. Chance to get the cross in. Drops it back. Goes further. Anderson gets it back again. She struggles. She runs for it. Tries to get the cross in uh, over the keeper's head. Good work. So goal kick again. It spent a lot of time in the pace and half. Would be one way of looking at things. And another substitution for. Maple Mountain. Payson. Give it away. Pass it to Vought. Vought trying to get it into the box. And goalkeeper has it. I think the call was, uh, yep, a uh, goal kick. What took it out on the near side. Payson. Working to get it forward, which they can't do. Under 10 minutes left. Maple Mountain 6. Oh, it's a card coming out here. Ali Vaught gets the yellow card. 
Payson get the free kick. Under 10 minutes and Maple Mountain 6, Payson nil. With not really any evidence that Payson are going to score other than by coincidence. So, Payson it is. They got to make this one go long. Long, 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 long. And then not too close to the goalkeeper and then all of their players running for it. Well, they still have it. But give it away. Maple Mountain get the throw. So, switches the other way. Referee starting to look at his watch. Messi with it, can keep possession. And Anderson overruns it. Long one forward. As he gets it. It's two on one, two on one, three on one. Oh, she takes it too far, drops it back. Anderson's there, switches it to the, well, it should have been switched to the far side, but straight at the keeper's hands. Payson in with the clearance. Anderson, heard the name a lot today. She has a lot of contact with the ball. Let's see, wait. Anderson again. And it was a free kick. Struggling just a little too hard for it. She, uh, Anderson, committed the foul on the Payson player. Pacing then. Goes down the right. And out. I see. No behind. Into space. But Payson have the chance. They'll clear it. And give it away to Anderson. He switches out to the far side. All reds there for it. She's at the box. Straight at the keeper's hands. Keeper calls for her players to get forward. She's going for the long one. We're inside the last five before stoppage time. Blaney can't control it. Nobuhara. Anderson. Wiscombe. About to run there. I say he's back for it. Good covering by uh, the Maple Mountain players. Everyone backing off from Maple Mountain that time. That's not like him. Blaney makes her way through, pushes it out right, but it's not long enough. Lund struggles to. Make it pass, puts it through the centre to Nobuhara, and I think it's a uh, foul on Maple Mountain. Foul on Lund. So as a result, we have the earth caving in here at the uh, Maple Mountain. Uh, well, fortunately, it's just finished caving in, but the earth caving in here at the Maple Mountain uh, glass house. So, long one, into the box. Ooh, just needed the contact to change direction from what the goalkeeper was expecting. Didn't quite happen. They had a couple of chances at it, unfortunately. So, Payson then, with, uh, well, they've had a lot of possession from that point in the field. <laughs> Where it goes from there remains to be seen. Is it a giveaway to Anderson? No, it's not long enough this time. They keep possession, but they push it out wide. So, 
Anderson comes in for it, puts it into the box, needs a run, and the goalkeeper's there. It's not been bad goalkeeping on the part of uh, Payson, to be fair. It's been harder for some of the cases that they've conceded for a goalkeeper to make a difference. But in fairness, uh, the goalkeeper has done some good work. So Blaney. And that went round the back, despite how it looked on your television. And on behalf of our uh, television manufacturer sponsors, get a better television. <laughs> no, not really. Let's uh, <laughs> avoid that feedback. The, um, the uh, situation is that uh, the ball went round the back and uh, we were filming from this side. Anderson. She doesn't really possess it. Long one forward. Straight at the keeper, curling in towards the goal. Very little time left. Referee looks at his watch. Not a lot of stoppage time. The clearance. I see. Into the box. And here's a run. Oh, nice work. All right, with the shot. Goes too wide. Goal kick it is. So, last chance for a consolation, I think, for uh, Payson, but I think uh, Maple Mountain are coasting this one. Anderson, who else? Puts it left. Assey, into the box. Goes out white. All right. Trying to find the space, gets across in. And she has a second chance at it. Still in play. And out it goes, f coming off our right and uh, making it the pace and throw. Down the line. And there is the final whistle from match referee Bruce Lahan. And uh, the score standing at Maple Mountain 6, I repeat 6, and Payson 0 with uh, the goals coming in the first half from Heather Assey in the 13th minute and uh, Chloe Martin in the 23rd and 36th minute. So Maple Mountain finished the first half with the score at 3-0 and in the second half they scored another 3 coming from uh, let me see if I can get it right uh, in order. Uh, first of all, there was Chloe Martin in the 65th minute, then Ali Vaught in the 67th minute, and I missed out uh, Julia Dean in the 56th minute. Uh, so Dean Martin, oh, it couldn't possibly be. Dean Martin Vaught is the order of the goal scores, scorers in the second half for Maple Mountain. So let's hear it for Dean Martin here at Maple Mountain High School at the end of the uh, Region 8 and uh, 4A contest for girls high school soccer. It's been a great season for Maple Mountain and all credit to coach Jeff Lake for a job well done this season and uh, we look forward to seeing him again next season. We may have some more games before the end of the year due to uh, contests falling out of the uh, region tables. We'll see about that. This is David Mayer, however, for Spanish Fork 17. It's been a pleasure to be with you here and uh, on behalf of the station here at Maple Mountain High School. And that's it for us for today. Thanks for watching.